Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome back to the Lake District. So yeah, I couldn't keep away from this place. My last trip was so inspiring. I just wanted to come back and uh, what a fabulous time of year to come back as well. We've got beautiful autumn colours here. So my particular location is Home Fell and I'm going to be scouting around this area today. And I'm going to be trying to concentrate on isolating subjects within the landscape. So got a bit of a hike out to an old disused quarry that I think is going to offer some really good photographic opportunity with some beautiful silver birch trees that are really golden this time of year so I'm hoping that I can use some of the old rocks the rock faces to isolate some subjects so when we're talking about isolating subjects in the landscape the first thing that springs to mind is fog and mist isn't it especially when we're shooting trees it's really easy to isolate a subject if you've got that separation between your subject and the background but when you've got conditions such as this which is a beautiful beautiful day here um, things become a little bit more difficult so I'm going to try to uh, challenge myself today to try to isolate some subjects within the landscape you know while conditions are probably not at their best yeah because I think if you only limit yourself to shooting you know like woodland for example when it's misty or foggy you know you're really cutting down your chances of success I think so yeah I want to really try and maximize shooting time when we're out and uh, what a beautiful day it is today really really mild for the time of year so yeah really looking forward to quite a big hike today I've probably got five or six miles to do about a thousand feet of elevation gain as well and a big circuit try and find some really cool subjects to photograph so I'm gonna head on up the trail guys and I'll see you at the first location So guys, I've had my plans completely scuppered actually. You might just be able to hear in the background some talking, cars and all sorts going on. Well, down here at the quarry, right now they're filming some things. There's a whole movie set here. There's rigging, there's buses, there's all sorts going on. And they're rigging up some kind of abseiling stuff going down into the quarry and there's just film crews running around. It's just crazy. That's somebody what they were filming, but they didn't know they were just uh, making sure people weren't entering that area so my plans to shoot this quarry this morning and it does look fantastic by the way it really does i've been completely scuppered so yeah a bit of a shame really because uh, i was really looking forward to seeing what I could come up with here but um i guess i'm just gonna have to uh you know take it on the chin and see if i can find something else because i'm sure there's there's just tons to photograph here. I could have stopped maybe a dozen times just on the short walk to get here. So uh, yeah, it's really beautiful. But uh, yeah, a bit of a shame really. But you know, what can you do? These things happen. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna crack on a bit further up the trail, maybe head up into the fells there and see what else I can find. <laughs> Well, welcome to Home Fell, guys. Absolutely beautiful up here, it really is. Amazing conditions weather-wise, absolutely beautiful. Some cracking views across Coniston and you might just be able to see the Langdale Pikes behind me in the background. Yeah, 360 degree views, absolutely beautiful, it really is. In terms of photography though, I haven't actually got the camera out yet to do any photography. Um, it kind of threw me back there actually when I turned up at the location I was going to shoot at and it was Pinewood Studios it turned out that were there. They kind of beat me to it. <laughs> so I was feeling a bit negative actually when I left that spot and yes, a bit dejected because I was hoping to spend the whole morning there shooting this beautiful blue slate quarry with the silver birch trees. I think the contrast between the 
the bright yellow leaves and that blue slate would have been amazing. Pick out some really fine detail shots. But I'm not gonna be able to do that. So a bit of a change of plan. So I've had a bit of a reese, a bit of a scout around this area and I found some lone trees across the other side, which I'm gonna shoot in a bit. I'm gonna have a spot of lunch as well up here, just soaking the atmosphere and then take a look across the ridge there on the other side to see what I maybe can shoot this evening. So yeah, still looking for that isolation, isolating those subjects. I'm sure there is plenty to shoot, but yeah, that little bit of negativity just crept in as I walked away from that quarry there. But um, I'll shut that off now and I'm feeling really positive and hopefully, yeah, the camera's coming out soon guys and we can get some photography done. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna have some lunch and then we'll crack on. So guys, I have been walking for a good four hours since I've last spoke to you. I think I've pretty much covered all of this area. Um, I was really struggling to find something, but now I've stumbled on this little area here, which is just off the, I guess, the eastern side of Homefell. And there's a group of silver birch trees here, which look really promising actually. And I think if they catch the light and I get the mountains behind, in the shadow, I think I can create some really nice separation, some really nice isolation within the subject. And that's what I was looking for when I come up here today, it really was. Uh, obviously my plans were ruined by pine wood, but uh, anyway, I am gonna hunt around down here and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to find something we can work with here. It's gonna be pretty good. So I really, I really like the look of these two trees here. I don't know if you can just see behind me. I think they look amazing. The problem is now I've come down the mountainside a little bit, they're poking up into the sky. So that's not really gonna work at all for this particular shot here. I think what I need to be is up there on the mountain. The issue I've got is that sun is literally like a foot above the peak there. And I just don't know if I've got time to get to the top of the, the, top of the ridge line up there to be able to push these down behind the top of that ridge line, if that makes sense. Because when those top of the branches are going into the sky, it's just, well, it's just not gonna work because obviously you'll, you'll get the two sort of difference in exposures. The sky's gonna be a lot lighter than the actual hillside. So it really, that's really not gonna work. So I think what I'm gonna try and do is quickly head back up onto the peak there and see if I can get a shot with them framed against the, uh, the mountainside. But I'm gonna have to be really quick, guys. Oh, there's still light on it. Uh, I think I found the spot where I need to shoot from. Uh, sorry guys, this is a bit manic, but uh, yeah, some amazing light on these right now. I'm gonna get my stuff set up. As you can probably see, I've got the camera and everything set up. Everything's ready to go and framed the best I can. But as you might be able to see in the sky there, they've got this really deep, dark, black sky that's come over. Literally, as soon as I put the bag down, the light just went and it was looking amazing down here from this angle as well. It really was absolutely what I wanted to capture today. So I'm a little bit gutted, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that just we get a you know, small hole, a small pocket of light come through the cloud and just light up these trees. Because without the light on them, they just blend into the background. But when we get that light hitting them from the side and the dark background, they really pop out and really make a nice subject. Also, there's a silver birch here, just to my right hand side. Um, when I came up, that was lit up as well and looked absolutely amazing against the dark background. So it would be amazing if I could capture these. And I put so much in to uh, this last uh, sort of three or four hours of scouting, looking around and trying to find 
these subjects i really have so it'd be really cool if i could be rewarded with just a little bit of light but it's not looking too good at the minute it really isn't and i've probably only got about 20 minutes before that sun dips down behind the ridge line fingers crossed guys fingers crossed come on so guys there was a huge pocket of blue sky there but the clouds kind of squeezed it out and uh yeah it's gone so i think any chance of getting light on these trees tonight is pretty much gone now uh a bit gutted to be honest but uh, you know it is what it is you can't you can't change the way the light is going to fall on the landscape but i do know there is a really good shot here uh, in the right conditions there's a possibility that i might be able to get back here tomorrow um i am here for two days I did plan to go somewhere else tomorrow evening, but I could come back here uh, and grab this shot if the weather conditions are looking right. For this spot now, I'm gonna call it uh, time, move over to the other side and see if I can get a sunset shot looking back towards the Langdale Pikes because uh, I wanted to capture that to finish the day off here as well. So yeah, shame I couldn't capture this one. Shame I couldn't really capture what I was hoping to get today, but I'm hopeful that we can get a nice sunset shot tonight looking back across the valley yeah a bit of a mixed feelings about today so far let's just hope the final bit of light on the landscape allows us to get an image today otherwise i'm going to draw blank and that is not a good thing okay let's get the gear packed up and move on to the other side So here I am wrapping up the vlog and I was a little bit dejected about the fact that the skies had turned grey and there was no light lighting up the landscape which enabled me to be able to capture an evening shot there. I just thought I'd bring this uh, vlog back to the studio because at that point I didn't actually know if I would return the following day but I did, I did return the following day and the following day was just amazing. Now, the conditions were similar in a lot of ways, but I think because I had taken the knowledge from the previous day, the previous day scouting and looking at all the amazing different compositions and possibilities up there, I was able to use that knowledge and put it into practice the following day. And really, I just had an amazing day of photography up there. I managed to capture seven different images, um, and I'll show you them in a minute. I was really, really pleased, actually, that I did return. And it's uh, something that I want to talk about because obviously the title of this video, those two attributes are patience and perseverance. Both of those play a massive part in you know, a success of a landscape photographer. Um, without patience or perseverance, I wouldn't have returned the following day and I wouldn't have stood any chance of capturing those images. Now my plans for the following day were actually to go to a new location. Now, perhaps if I'd have gone to a new location, yes, I might have found somewhere else to shoot, but I might have ended up in the similar situation I had the previous day, where I scouted lots of locations, but perhaps come away empty-handed. So yeah, having that perseverance to stick to that one lo location, go back there and, and really concentrate on trying to make some images that I'd seen the previous day was definitely the way to go. And uh, I think just having that bit of patience and that bit of perseverance really helped me to be able to capture some images. And uh, yeah, felt really, really good about that location. I was really, really happy, even though I did feel a little bit disappointed at the end of day one. So here's the series of images that I managed to capture. Now, before I show you them, I just want to say that I didn't manage to capture that shot of the two birch trees that I was really trying to capture. I did return to that location and I did set up for about an hour, but the light never fell in the same spot as it did for that brief moment up there on day one. So I never managed to get that shot. I did, however, manage to get some other shots that were very similar at different locations that I'd sp spotted as well the day before. So I do hope you enjoy 
these photographs. I really enjoyed taking them. I really did have a cracking day on that second day. I decided not to do any filming, just to stick to my photography and I was rewarded for, yes, my patience and perseverance. So yeah, if there's any takeaways from today's video guys, yeah, stick with the patience and perseverance and you will succeed. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoy these images. Take care and I'll see you for more shenanigans next week. Take care, see you.